guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I am on today doing a VR for Tina's Craft Creations. Tina hit her 1500 subby goal and she is an amazing crafter. I know that if you follow me, you probably follow Tina too, but on the off chance that you don't, go check her out. She loves Maggie Holmes um, and she does a lot of really creative um, embellishments and paper crafting on her channel. Just please definitely go check her out. Um, for this um, entry into her giveaway, all you had to do was create three embellishments of any kind uh, using a Maggie Holmes um, kit. And if you didn't have Maggie Holmes, you know, you could do something else, but she really does love Maggie Holmes and she is doing this incredible giveaway um, uh, full of Maggie Holmes products. So um, I'll link that video down below if you guys want to go check it out. Um, but let's just jump into this and show you what I made. So I am in a an era right now where I'm not buying anything. I am like, I look like a hoarder in my craft room right now and um, I need to use what I have. So I took one of my favorite collections, which is Garden Party, and it is one that is in my tear tray right now. So I wanted to use that up before I put it away. I'm ready to switch to a different collection. So what I did is I took these little watering cans that I bought from Dollar Tree. They came five in a pack. And um, I took some scraps because literally all I have left of this collection is like scraps like this. So um, I'll probably end up buying another paper pad because I do have some um, stickers and things left and um, some embellishments, not a ton. But um, anyway, so I put the watering can upside down on the paper, traced around it, and then just kind of cut it out. Um, it cut out really nice using a scissors. It really wasn't that hard to like get inside here either. So I did it in five different patterns because there were five in the package. I went ahead with the hole that's in the top. I put a little eyelet through there in a coordinating color. I put a large jump ring in it. And um, I just layered it up with flowers, butterflies, um, stickers from the collection, uh, little ephemera pieces from the collection. These flowers are just from Michael's. And then I um, put some sequins on the top. So like I said, using what I have, I pulled a couple different diamond dots out. Um, these were from the Hobby Lobby clearance. I was gonna use these, but then I remember I had this um, little sequin mix that someone gifted me that matches the garden party um, collection exact exactly so um I just used that I used a little bit of glossy accents just put three dots on each one and um put some sequins on there and then I also made these little safety pins a while back with some uh, word beads on it and then I just chose five in coordinating colors and I added them to the jump ring up there these butterflies are the ones from Hobby Lobby um, I just think they turned out so cute. So that's that one. This one, this colorful one, this is probably my favorite. And then I did the seed beads in like a rainbow color there. This one is so sweet with the yellow and the aqua. I think they just look so cute together. And then this one says grow. Uh, so I added that one. This one has the word bird on it. And then this one uh, has the word sun on it. So what I think I'm gonna do with these, I have um, a bunch of cards that I went through. So I was going through this phase, I guess, where I was buying a bunch of these note cards from Michaels when they had them. And I think they clearanced them out at one point and I just like went nuts with them. So I just have a bunch in here. And these are ones that um, are, patterned on the front and back side so um if they were were um white on the back I saved them because then I would just cover them and I'm making my own cards with them but these were ones that were patterned on both sides so I picked out some coordinating ones that just look like this um these just happen to be um like some glitter ones I don't know that one really doesn't match that's more of a red oops um, but here's like darker pink, a peachy, uh, like teal, and then a green. And what I thought I could do is just kind of build up, um, a card and 
use this as the front of a card. So then also what I did is I took some that I knew I wasn't going to use, like, um, oh, like this, these that say love and hugs. It's not really my style anymore, um, but I flipped it inside out and then I just cut it and I'm using that as the white piece so I can use up what I have. Like literally I am, I am using what I have here, guys. So then I have these um, embellishment pieces from the collection here as well that I kind of just pulled out. Um, you know, you could take something like that and put it in the corner because, you know, it says, look at you grow. So you could do that. And then you could just layer like that on top of it. I don't know. I guess that's not as, that one, it doesn't work as well. Just, you don't want to cover up. I mean, it, that greenhouse is beautiful, but if you didn't want to, if you didn't care for the words, you could just cover it up like that. But I thought those would make really cute cards, um, you know, and the inside is blank. That is my um, embellishments for Tina. And um, I hope I inspired you guys to kind of use up some things that you have in your uh, stash as well. And um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I am going to leave Tina's information down below as well as her video. And then I'm going to send some pictures over to Tina so she can post them on her Instagram. Congratulations, Tina. Bye.